Hello all, welcome to a new GitHub Copilot episode. In today's episode, we are looking at the billing aspects, especially billing for Copilot for business. As you all know, we have two SKUs associated with GitHub Copilot as of 6th November 2023. This may change in future. Right now, we have only two SKUs. One is for individual. It's a personal account. Anyone with a github.com account can get a copilot for individual. You have an option of 30 days trial. You can enable 30 days trial, evaluate the copilot usage from an individual angle, and you have the control to allow the copilot team to use your code for training the model or not. So you can allow or deny the controls. Multiple controls are provided to individual level. The license cost is $10 per month and it's assigned to your github.com handle itself. The second SKU is Copilot for Business. It's targeting the enterprise accounts or the organizations who need more licenses. Along with the generic features in code generation as well as the support for NFRs and everything, Copilot for Business have a centralized license management and policy settings. All the policies in terms of public code blocking as well as the enablement and disablement access controls, everything is in a centralized location. Copilot for Business licenses cost is $19 per person per month. So if you have a hundred licenses, 100 users, you need to have 100 into 19. That's the amount you are going to pay. And it's a usage-based license model. This month you may have 100 licenses. Next month, based on your sprint planning and all, you may change to 50 licenses or 250 licenses based on your plans. Uh, maybe the team moves to a design phase or a bug fix phase or the production release completed with the minimum support requirements from the coding angle, you can reduce the number of licenses. So monthly, you can monitor the license usage and take a call in Copilot for Business. Centralized reporting available, which shows how many users are actively using the Copilot when the usage is done and everything. Based on that, the team administrators can take a decision on where the license required for the next month or not. As it's saying $19 per month, it depends on your billing date. So if you have a billing date of 15th, billing date depends on your github.com billing or the enterprise license billing. If the billing date is 15th and you have assigned the seats to some users on 27th, then Copilot billing will start from 27th onwards. It's a prorated billing. So you don't need to bill for the beginning, that is 15 to 26, no billing required. As you are signed on 27, this person start user one and user two, two licenses from 27 to next billing date. That will be the license payment. Now, for example, you have removed one license on 30th of the month, user two, seat allocation is removed. When you remove itself, the message will be displayed that this person is marked for cancellation and his seat will be canceled on the next billing that is on 15th of the December. So even though you remove a user on 30th, you will bill that person for the entire month. So this person will be billed for entire month till 15th of next billing date that's a complete cycle so if you are adding a person the beginning time in the middle of a billing month you won't you don't need to pay the initial days you need to pay only from the date but if you are removing in the middle still the person will get copilot seat will be removed from that particular user in the next billing cycle only. So you need to pay for the entire month. So if you have a seat management or you are planning to move or remove and reassign kind of thing, plan it around the billing date. Maybe on 14th, you can take a decision on how many need the seat for the next month based on that act on that, remove the person that day. That will ensure that you have a better cost control. 
and copilot for business can be paid if through um, let me just move to the next one through your Azure subscription also. If you have an Azure subscription, you can link your Copilot billing with Azure subscription. And based on that, you can bill just like Azure resources billing you are doing monthly. Along with the, that, Copilot will come as one more resource in your Azure itself. So this linking will help you to bill as a Azure resource itself. Now in it, this case, the Copilot billing will be aligned to Azure billing. For example, in our previous example, your billing date is on 15th and you linked a copilot into Azure on this day, 2nd. Then you will be billing to GitHub directly till 1st and from 2nd onwards to Azure billing. It will reflect in Azure billing. And Azure billing is the natural month kind of thing. So one first to first will be the billing cycle. So you will be reformatted. The billing cycle will be changed to Azure billing cycle. So you can refer the connectivity uh, between Copilot and the Azure with the more details. I will share the links in the description area. So that's a simple billing or the license model followed by in the copilot area. Thank you for listening. Thank you.